Hey folks, this is Vince with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to take a very quick look at the game Fill the Bar. Now this game is for two to four players, ages eight and up, and the average play time is about 30 minutes. In this game, players are going to be planting and harvesting crops in order to make the most money. Let's just go ahead and take a quick look at the components and see how the game is played. Now as far as the components are concerned, it's pretty simple. You've got one giant board. There are six columns on the board, one for each type of crop or good in the game. Strawberries, watermelons, carrots, potatoes, corn, and hay. Um, you also have a deck of cards. There's a lot of them. And there are a lot of different cards in the deck. You've got crop cards like strawberries and corn. You've got harvest cards. Um, fertilized cards, uh, some nasty cards like bugs and droughts, uh, irrigate, uh, different things like that. And I'll explain what they all do in a minute. And finally, you also have uh, some money here. Players will be trying to earn this in order to win the game, although they will be spending it on occasion in order to plant and harvest. Setting up the game is also really easy. Each player will receive $1,500 in money. Uh, in specific, uh, two of these $500 bills and five of these $100 bills. And uh, each player will also receive a hand of five cards. Now on a player's turn, they have two choices. They can uh, play one card from their hand and do whatever they want with it, uh, depending on what the card is, and then draw from the draw deck to bring their hand back up to five. Or, instead of playing a card, they can exchange one, two, or three cards from their hand, put it into the discard pile, and pick up that many from the deck, again, making sure that their hand ends up being five cards. Now, as I indicated earlier, the object of the game is to make as much money as possible. And in order to do that, players are going to be planting crops onto their field in front of them. Each player has, like, an imaginary field in front of them. And uh, they're going to need to pay money... Uh, to put crops in front of them for harvesting later. And each crop card has a value listed on it. So let's say uh, this player wanted to plant this carrot into their imaginary field. They would need to pay the bank $500 to do that. So let's say this player decides to do that. So now this carrot is considered planted in front of that player. Now, um, on a future turn, let's say that this player wanted to play a fertilizer card. And to do that, you need to pay $100. But um, this provides the player with some bonuses during the harvesting process. And fruits, for example, in this case, uh, get a bonus of 800 vegetables 500 and feed 300 Feed being corn and hay. Um, but uh, in this case, the vegetable bonus would apply for the carrot. So he's going to pay $100 and put that on top of the carrot. Now let's say on a future turn, again on a future turn, um, he decides to play this harvest card for $200. And again, just like the uh, crop cards, harvest cards have different values, so you need to pay attention to which one you're playing. But harvest cards allow players to take crops that are on the field and put them into the barn. And... Um, at the end of it all, you're going to have to do a little bit of math to figure out whether or not you actually won in the end anything. So, for example, you paid $500 to put this crop down, $100 to play fertilize the fertilizer card, and $200 to harvest it. So you've got $800 sitting here in the hole. Uh, now, how do you make that back? Well, hopefully, whenever you go to move this into the barn, you'll make that up in some way. Um... What you'll do whenever you're placing a crop into the barn, you'll look for the most available topmost spot. You'll start from the top and work your way down. In this case, there is no card here under the carrot uh, section or column. So he, I can just put that right on the top here. And I would earn the value listed uh, on the bottom space, which is $1,200. So I would earn $1,200 for that plus the bonus of $500 via this fertilized card. So the $1,200 plus the $500 is $1,700, and the $1,700 minus the $800 is $900. So in the end, I made a net profit of $900 by harvesting uh, this carrot into the barn. And that's really all there is to it. Players are going to be taking turns around the table, planting crops in front of them, uh, playing any sort of bonus cards that they might have on top of those crop cards, and then harvesting them into the barn. Um, of course, players can play nasty cards uh, to mess other people up, like these junk cards, for example, can be played on an empty barn slide if they want to block someone from 
harvesting something. Um, you can play things like insurance to recover planting costs for fields lost to bugs or drought. Bugs or drought being um, cards that you can play on other players to mess them up. Bugs, for example. Other players lose any planted fields of the same type of crops as yours and droughts. Other players lose, lose any non-irrigated fields. And, uh, of course, there are irrigation cards to help against drought, and, but you have to pay money to put those down. So a lot of cards tie in together. And um, like I mentioned before, there's a lot of math involved when trying to figure out whether or not uh, you'll uh, actually gain anything by uh, planting and harvesting. Uh, in particular, you'll have to look at the cost of each card and then try and calculate in your head what you would get out of it in the end uh, if you were to harvest it at that point. Uh, luckily, some cards are free to play. Like this carrot, for example, is free. Uh, while this carrot costs 400 So definitely pay attention to the cards and you'll have to sort of plan out in your head what it is that you're attempting to do and whether or not it would be profitable to do so. Now the game ends whenever the board completely fills up with cards or um, when the deck runs out. The person with the most money at that point wins the game. Now just to quickly illustrate, Vinny and I are going to go ahead and play through a few practice uh, turns. And each player, each of us have five cards in our hand and uh, we each start out with 1500. Now to determine who goes first, I didn't cover this earlier, but we just name how many crop, or just the number of crop cards that we have in our hand. In this case I have three. I have four. Four. So you get to go first. The person with the most crop cards in their hand gets to go first with play uh, going clockwise after that. So in this, on, on your turn, again, you can play one card and then draw from the deck, or you can exchange one, two, or three cards. Can you harvest? You have to play one card at a time. So what are you going to play first? The crop? So let me see what, the, let me, uh, see what this is first. All right. So just to quickly zoom in on that, you're playing a watermelon, so you have to pay $500 to the bank. All right. All right, but now you have a watermelon card in front of you. And now you have four cards, and you can draw. There you go. Now it's my turn. All right, I will go ahead and pay... Goodness. All of these stink. All right, let's... Uh, I'll go ahead and pay $500 to plant this strawberry. $500. So I'll just put that on my imaginary field for now, $500, and I'll draw from the deck to bring my hand back up to five. I will harvest. All right, so let's see what you're doing now. Okay. You got a harvest card, so you have to pay the bank $400 to harvest this. So what's going to happen, let's, let's do one transaction at a time. We'll, do, we'll pay your $400 first. All right. So now, let's take a look here. Now you, you, play, you paid to harvest, so you can put this watermelon here. It's the topmost section, the topmost uh, part of the column. This harvest card goes in the discard pile. And now you earn the money listed on the bottom of this little uh, area here. So it says $1,700, so you earn... 1700 Now, just doing the math, did you actually make a profit from this? $500 for the watermelon, $400 for the harvest. How much did you pay overall to do this? 900 900 Now, you earned 1700 so That'd how... 800 800 very good. 900 plus 800 is 1700 So the watermelon goes here, harvest goes there. All right. Now, did you, how many cards do you have? Four. Four? There's your card. All right. Now, unfortunately, I do not have any harvest cards, so I'm going to either have to keep planting or start trading some cards out, or possibly irrigate if I want to go that route. Um, I may decide, let's just go ahead and plant this corn for $100. So I'll go ahead and plant that. 
And I have to pay $100 to do that. And I get to pick up a card. Okay. Um, Alright, what are you going to do now? I'm going to discard these two. You're going to discard those two cards. There are discard piles over here. And you're going to pick up two cards, right? Yes. Alright. So I can get some good cards. Hmm. Well. Alright, I will... I will go ahead and irrigate this strawberry for $100, just in case he happens to have a drought card. Strawberries are worth the most money out of everything, so I'm going to try and protect this if I can. So I have to pay $100 to the bank to play that card, and I get to pick up from the deck. I will discard these two again. All right, so you're going to discard two cards, and you're going to pick up two cards, yes? Yes. All right. So that. Finally, I will go ahead and play the harvest card that I just drew for $300. So let me go ahead and pay that first. $300 to the bank. Now I get to harvest this strawberry. And I'll discard these two, the irrigate and the harvest. Now, the irrigate and the harvest cost a total of $400 to do that. It cost me $500 to uh, plant the strawberry in the first place. That's 900 However, I earned $2,000 for this. So, Junior, can you tell me if I actually... 1100 Very good. So I earned 2000 In the In the end, I earned 2000 but uh, as a profit, 1100 like you said. All right, now that it's my turn again, um, I'm going to go ahead and play this harvest card worth $400. Uh, so let me put that down... Trade in a five for a one for the harvest. And I put the harvest on my strawberry, which uh, costs nothing. It says free down here, so I didn't have to pay to actually plant this. So I'm going to put the strawberry on the second space, because that this first one is taken. This harvest goes in the discard pile. And I earned $1,700 uh, for that particular transaction. So let me do that, that. And in case I haven't mentioned it before, the values decrease as you go down the column. So the first plant that you put in, or the first crop that you put into the barn uh, is worth the most. And the second most is worth a, a moderate amount, while the last or the third uh, crop that you place into the barn is worth the least. For in the example of the strawberry, 2,000, 1,700, and uh, to put a strawberry here is 1,400. Uh, for hay, you've got 600, 500, 400. So um, this is one thing I actually don't like about the game is that it's basically a mad rush to plant, uh, to get as many as you can into the barn at the beginning of the game, with the end of the game kind of slowing down a bit because the values are less. But you can always mod the game if you want to, to where you play up rather than down. So you play how you want, but that's just one idea or one uh, modification that you can make to the game to make it uh, play a little bit differently. All right, Junior, can you tell me then how much I made from this transaction? Um, it costs nothing to put this strawberry down and four hundred dollars to um, harvest it. So seventeen hundred minus four hundred. One thousand three hundred. Very good. I I made a net profit of thirteen hundred. All right, so it is, I have to pick up from the deck, and it is now your turn. I will harvest this. Okay. All right, so let's, what do you, uh, all right. So pay the 500 first. Say you, do. All right, Say so. 900. Very good. He paid, uh, he played a watermelon card, which had no cost. It says free here, and he just paid $500 to harvest something. Uh, that watermelon and it's fourteen hundred dollars for that so you would earn fourteen hundred but you made a net profit of nine hundred got it okay yep. did you get another card uh, I need one. all right there you go thank you mm, you're welcome all right I will go ahead and harvest this corn I'm gonna pay three hundred dollars to harvest this corn um, pay that first one two three Harvest goes in a discard pile. Corn goes on the top spot. I get $700 for that. Did I make a profit? Well, $100 for the corn, $300 for the harvest. That's $400 for the expense. But I earned $700. So how much did I? $300. $300. Very good. That's not 
not really any good. Oh, well. You're not going to make a lot of money with the corn or the hay unless you have some bonus cards. They're the, they're the least profitable of the bunch. The strawberries, on the other hand, and the watermelons, you'll really make out if you can get those planted. All right, now I skipped ahead just a little bit. Um, we actually ended the game to the point where uh, the draw pile ran out. We did not fill all of the available spaces. We still have an empty carrot, two potato spaces, and two hay spaces. So now we're going to count our money and see how much uh, we actually earned. One, two, three, four, five thousand. 550, 5, 560, 5,600 for me. 5,000 right here. How many did you get? Let me see, you've got 3,000. And how much is this? 5,000. You've got 5,000. 200. All right, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 5,500, 6. You beat me by 100 <laughs> stinking dollars. Holy <laughs> shit, please. <laughs> Oh, 100 freaking... It's those drought cards. You played three drought cards on me. Two. Yeah, whatever. Exactly. Still, it's enough. And there you have it. This is just a very brief look at the game Fill the Barn. Uh, you can check out my review at www.dadsgamingaddiction.com where you can simply click on the link in the below description. That'll take you there as well. This is Vincent Vinny Jr. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.